Can you hear me and can you see me? Hearing's just fine. I can hear you. Coming across loud and clear? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. And how are you feeling right now? Are you, we're right towards the end of the pageant. What are the nerves like? Um, I'm very nervous. However, I'm excited and I'm thankful to be here and have made it this far. So I feel great. Do you, do you know where, at what point we are in the pageant? Are you, are you aware from where you are, where we are? I have no idea where we are at all. <laughs> You have no idea. It's a little bit different. That's why I ask, right? Because we are doing this virtually, so we're not even sure what you hear, what you know. So I don't know if you know that you are now crowned Miss Earth 2021. You are it. Congratulations, Felice. You are the Miss Earth of 2021. Oh, I feel a bunch of. <laughs> and there you have it. That was the moment that uh, Belizean Destiny Wagner was officially named Miss Earth 2021. And we have her with us this morning live from Punta Gorda, Paini, uh, to talk with us and share her experience. Welcome home and congratulations. Thank you so much for having me. What's it like watching that clip again? I just get so excited and nervous all over again because I was experiencing so much emotion, but it was such a, a sense of relief. Like the feeling was just so amazing. I, I have to ask uh, Destiny, did you know uh, that that's what would be told, would have been told to you? It's a virtual event. Um, and I, I, I wondered if maybe somebody texts you in the background and said, hey, you're coming up next and you're the winner. Did you know? I had no idea at all what was happening. I didn't even know what ladies were in front or behind me. I just was waiting, like, on a wing and a prayer, just praying for the best outcome. Yeah. You know, you know, Marlene, uh, I, I was engaged in the show. I was in tune. I was there from the announcement was made that you made the top 20. Um, I must admit, I wasn't there before that, but when I heard <laughs> that you made the top 20, I was like, I have to get into this. And I listened to the answers you gave, and you gave exceptional answers, I must say that. Uh, oh. So much so that just by listening to your answers, I said to myself, man, uh, Belize stands a chance at winning this. So I was not surprised, the least bit excited, but not surprised when... I heard the announcement that uh, you had won. Would you speak a bit to how you prepared yourself for this event? Yeah, so I only had two weeks before my videos were due because it was a virtual pageant, so we had to submit videos in advance. And I got appointed pretty late in the competition. So I just had to message all of my close friends and family and say, hey, we need to represent Belize to the best of our ability. I need all hands on deck. And I was very fortunate enough to have a support system who was willing to go the extra mile for me and donate their time and their resources and their tools. And we made it happen. And this is the result of what happens when we support one another and come together. The, the question, Two weeks? Yeah. Did I hear you right? Two weeks before yeah. the competition? Yes. Wow. Oh yeah. And a lot of the countries, they had months, almost half a year or almost a full year to prepare and I filmed my preliminary and my final videos in the same day. So I had no idea if I was going to make the finals or not. That's amazing, wow. Right? Yeah, that, that, that whole adds a, a, a whole other dimension <laughs> uh, to this win. Yeah. But Destiny, I, you know, you know what this means for us in Belize. And this is not your first rodeo. Um, you did compete in Miss Universe. And uh, you've been through so much of, of the emotions of this before. From the moment that you were named a part of the top 20, you already knew you, were, um, uh, you had earned a historic place in this country. What was it like from that point forward? I was satisfied. I just wanted Belize to place. My goal was to represent Belize to, my best of, to the best of my ability and to place because I knew that I could do it. I knew that I could place in this pageant. I just didn't know what placement I was going to get. Uh, but I'm very happy with the outcome. I'm so, so 
uh, filled like filled with so many different emotions, especially for Belize. This is a huge win for everyone, and I hope they see it as a sign of hope. But uh, that's what that's pretty much how I was feeling throughout the like after throughout the pageant and during the pageant. I just wanted to to place. I wanted to get people to remember Belize. Yeah. Was the entire event pre-recorded, or there some of it that was uh, live? What was that? Was the entire event pre-recorded, or were there some of it that was live interaction? Uh, so the question and answer that was like live, uh, but it was pre-recorded a few days in advance, like a day in advance. Um, but the videos, those were pre-recorded, and yeah, all of the videos, preliminary and final videos, were pre-recorded, and we had to submit them before a deadline. Yeah. So just the announcement was live, and the question. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, Destiny, um, let, let's just talk a bit about you. Let's let's have Belize and the rest of the world learn more about Miss Earth. Um, you have had a very great career in public relations, um, and in fact, uh, you gave that all up to to come back to Belize. Tell us a bit yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, I was living in New York City at the time, but I'm born and raised in Punta Gorda, so I, I did go to school in the states. And I took a random trip to Paris and absolutely fell in love. And I thought, I want to live outside of the USA. I want to teach kids in Paris. And then I thought about it. And the more and more I thought about it, I thought, hey, why would I go to another country to help children when I have a bunch of youth right now in my country who need, like, who can benefit from my help or, or I could be more hands on in my nonprofit? So I packed up my bags, moved to Belize, and um, essentially for the pageant, if I were to win the pageant at the time of this universe release, I wanted to be hands-on and I wanted to be in the country. Unfortunately, it didn't go as planned, but I'm very thankful that I did decide to come back to Belize full-time because I am able to be more hands-on in my community and it's great for them to see a face, to recognize a face, and to see themselves in me. So I'm happy to achieve such a, such a win of this magnitude because it instills hope in the youth and it also inspires them. Yeah. I mean, this is a win for us, but I can't even imagine what the town of PG must feel like. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we, had a, 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 we had a motorcade. As soon as I got back, I wasn't expecting anything because we had just had one in Belize City. But as soon as I landed on the plane on Tropic, they um, had a motorcade. The mayor was out there, did a speech for me, and we motorcaded all the way back to my house. And then we went to Wagusos, and there was a whole crowd waiting for me there. So it was the perfect, the perfect end. Yeah. So what what happens now? Tell us about it. So you you've officially been crowned, um, and and what given the context of the pandemic and and how things work, it's very different. So what happens uh, now that you're officially Miss Earth? So now that I'm officially Miss Earth, it's starting. It's time for me to start putting in the work. So of course, advocating for our planet. Uh, specifically marine conservation and sustainability, but I also want to work closely with the ministers here in Belize because Belize does an excellent job with ecotourism, so I would love to showcase our practices to the rest of the world. Uh, but also, I am an ambassador of the earth now, which means that you, Belize will have to share me with the rest of the world. So I will be promoting uh, different... I'm sorry about that. <laughs> uh -huh. I will be promoting different sustainability practices uh, throughout, throughout the earth. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, what are what are some of the uh, destinations uh, that Destiny is most excited about uh, during your year of reign? So, I definitely want to showcase different keys throughout Belize, but I also want to um, highlight different areas and different countries as well. So, I am scheduled to be going to El Salvador next week mm -hmm. with the min uh, with the business borough of Belize, and then I am also scheduled to go on my first official. So Miss Earth destination, which would be to Orlando, and then the fall in a couple of weeks after that, and I will be headed to Puerto Rico. Yeah, mm -hmm. and all of that travel includes uh, some sort of uh, promoting Earth and conservation uh, in there, correct? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Destiny, can I ask you, does it feel real to you as yet? What was that? Does it feel real to you as yet? Yes, now it definitely feels real. I'm back on my native soil. I'm with my people. I'm with my country. I get to raise my flag and 
and realize the significance of it with everyone else, it definitely feels more real now that I'm back in Belize as opposed to when I was in the slaves. Mm -hmm. So after the after you you were named Miss Earth and you started to see all the feedback, tell us a bit about the emotions that you felt when you started to see how Belizeans uh, were reacting. It felt good. It felt amazing. Um, I really needed the support and. I'm happy that everyone can rejoice with the win, but it's very important for everyone to come together even before that and to help support the youth, not just our beauty ambassadors, but all of our ambassadors before they get the big win. You know, uh, we can accomplish so much when we work together and give a helping hand. So I hope that this is a, a lesson to all to continue to support one another and just help, help them out, help them market. You don't even have to support them financially something as simple as spreading a post or dropping a flag below we can go a long way what's the what's the unique uh thing about this miss earth pageant uh, that makes it different uh and set apart from any other pageants that you've participated in miss earth focuses on environmental advocacy and i think that's very relevant with today's society or in the world we live in right now our planet is in danger so miss earth is looking for a spokesperson and an advocate and ambassador of our planet and that's what sets this, this pageant apart from other ones the advocacy is so strong and the girl and the women who have participated in this are passionate they're not choosing advocacy because of the pageant they're choosing their pageant because of the advocacy yeah uh, we know that uh, the miss universe uh, pageant uh, that there there was some disappointments experienced there on your end however you bounced back uh, pretty well uh, to win uh, <laughs> miss earth uh, 2021 what do you say to uh, persons out there based on that experience that comeback experience if i may I have never been one to feel sad if I weren't able to win something or achieve something. I think of everything as a learning point and a lesson, and you always have to smile regardless of the outcome. Um, I experienced a lot of no's, but to me, it's a numbers game. You know, Belize we love Pichicot, so there's 52 cards mm -hmm. in a deck. Out of those 52 cards, you have to get your four aces. So you have to go 52 times. You'll get a whole lot of no's, but you will eventually get four yeses. And that's the way I look at it. And I finally got my yes, and it was a big yes. You know, you're Miss Earth, but you're also a youth. Uh, what does Destiny Wagner, uh, the young lady from PG, enjoy doing in her spare time when hmm. she's not wearing that Hello. heavy crown on her head? Can you hear us? Yeah, I, I can hear you now. Okay, great. Do you want me to repeat the question? Yes, please. But the, it's raining here in PG, so the rain is... Just... Yeah, that, that's expected. That sounds that's like no PG. Surprise. Yeah, I was asking yeah. you, what does Destiny Wagner uh, do in her spare time when she's not wearing that crown? What do you enjoy doing? I do... Um, it's almost the same thing. Some things are different, but I definitely love to go diving. I love to hang out with my family and friends. I love to go to my farm and relax and travel. So those are basically the same things I do in my crown, except probably the diving. Um, but <laughs> the, the best part about this win is that I did it being my authentic self. So with or without the crown, I'm still going to be the same person and carry myself how I normally would. So I'm happy that I didn't have to conform or pretend to be somebody that I'm not in order to achieve this greatness. So hopefully someone listening, they will be inspired and they don't have to change either. There's no reason for you to change who you are in order to get something that you want. That's so lovely. Now, you know, it's also earning this crown and distinction for us is, is um, we are so proud of you. But on a personal level, you have a huge platform and and you spoke about wanting to help children um you started in other parts of the world and then you decided to come home how do you want to use this platform to advocate for causes that are important for you whether environmental or not yeah absolutely i think the best way to educate someone is to lead by example so i want all of my actions to be the teaching lessons. I want people to watch me, the lifestyle that I live, and then become motivated by that. But for sure, focusing on marine conservation, those are things that I have been doing and will continue to advocate for, as well as 
feed in programs in the rural communities. But because I have such a huge platform now, I definitely want to expand on more projects. I would love to start community gardens as well throughout Belize, but those are just yeah. some projects that are pending right now. And I'm sure that we'll be able to accomplish it though. Yeah. What are you most excited about? I'm most excited about the whole journey. I have no expectations. So I'm just going in this with an open mind and ready to embrace everything and just live in the moment. Do you think Little Destiny had any idea that this is what was going to come in her future? Not at all. Little Des is probably shocked right now. <laughs> yeah? Did she have some shocked. confidence issues? She's always she's been confident. Uh-huh. She had always been confident. Con you know, contrary to popular belief, I was very confident and outspoken as a child, and it shows now as an adult. Um, but it really didn't resonate with me that I would be a public figure or be a beauty queen. I always assumed that I would just be a boss. Like, I knew I was going to be a boss. I just didn't know in, in what industry. Oh, wow. So it's, it's shocking. And not just any beauty queen, but an international beauty queen at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you want to say? I mean, this is, this is the dream of many little girls out there. Um, and uh, <laughs> having a queen from Belize is something that, I, I, I mean, there's no way to really capture um, the impact that can be had there for all our little ones and what they can accomplish. But what would you say? If you're invited to a classroom and schools resume and you see the little girls in there, whether confident or not so confident, what would be the message that you would share with them from your journey? My message would simply be, it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what hair, what kind of texture hair you have or your skin tone. Remain true to yourself because your personality will get you into more doors than your looks ever could. Mm -hmm. So be you and be true to yourself. Yeah. I hear what you're saying yeah. with the texture of your hair. Let's, let's just very quick, because you, you triggered the thought in my mind. Do you think um, that it was part of, in your journey with pageants, did you ever wonder, oh, well, maybe it's because of my hair? Did you have doubts about it, why you keep saying it? I didn't have any doubts about it, but I realized the public opinion, they had a few doubts about my hair. And I would often hear a lot of times, oh, do you plan on cutting your hair? Would you plan on wearing a wig? And people would throw in little comments like, Belize, not ready for a Rasta queen, or Belize, what I never crowned, like a Rasta gal. So it made me, it didn't make me insecure or anything. It just motivated me to show the world how progressive not only Belize is, but the rest of the world is. So if this is the standard now with beauty, I'm very happy because it goes to show that every woman is beautiful in their natural in their natural hair. Yeah, I love that. I love that. And then, you know, I think uh, as, as that conversation spreads in Belize, especially, we've heard it uh, as a topic of conversation within the police department, within schools. Um, here you are representing yeah. uh, the global standard of beauty for Miss Earth with your hair uh, naturally worn. That's lovely. So uh, just closing words for us, Destiny. Just, you know, um, we're so happy to have this, this conversation with you and uh, to hear about how you're feeling as of today. You said you're going to be permanently in Belize for now? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Belize, I'll be permanently in Punta Gorda. So, and then if I have to travel, I'll travel, but this is my home base. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just closing thoughts, if you would. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. To Belize, this win, yeah, this win is for every one of us. I hope that this instills hope in each and every one of you. We've had such a tough year the past couple of years, but Little Belize is now getting recognized. So I want everyone to be conscious of their decisions moving forward. Do not give our country any bad publicity or scandal. So everything you do, think about Belize and how the world is going to be viewing us. And let, let's have them view us in a positive light. So that's our message to everyone. Send in peace and lots of love to everyone out there and job bless. Yeah. All, right. All right. We want to uh, thank you, Destiny, for coming on this morning and gracing our morning show with your presence uh, uh, with that wonderful conversation. Coming up next, we have a discussion 
that has all things to do with decoration, decorating your Christmas tree, decorating your 